Hey everyone, welcome to another video. As I mentioned before, I'm creating some new videos and content for those who are looking to become a mortgage broker. We're currently inviting and interviewing new brokers to join our team, and we'd love to connect with you to see if you are a good fit. Now, one question I get from new brokers are, I don't have much experience. So should I become a full-fledged mortgage broker right away? Or should I get my feet wet first and work at a bank or be a mortgage broker assistant? Since I get asked that question so often, here's a video to answer it. Of course, it depends on your situation and I'm not going to give you a vague answer, but I hope based on your situation, you'll know which path to take. My answer is to go full-fledged mortgage broker. And here's why. I find that people tend to use the, oh, oh, I'm not that experienced, blah, 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 more of an excuse. I find that most of the time, the real hurdle is because it's a challenging transition and, and you're nervous and scared. I get it. You may be transitioning out of university or, or you're leaving a very stable salary job. You're comfortable where you are at and it's like a big leap of faith where you need to jump out of your comfort zone into a role that's 100% commission. There's no security anymore. It's literally like you eat what you kill. But if experience is a genuine concern, then you definitely need to be a full-fledged mortgage broker. I like to compare this role like learning martial arts. If you want to learn, say, boxing, for example, there are tons of YouTube videos that will teach you how to box. But with boxing, you're not, learn you're not going to be learning just by being a spectator. You need to get your gloves on, you know, hit the punching bags, and eventually start sparring with other people. You get hit a few times, and you learn to block and punch and so on. Just like mortgage brokering, you can be an assistant and learn more about the industry, but doing the job of an assistant is not being a mortgage broker. It's a completely different role. And simply put, being an assistant is doing what the mortgage broker doesn't want to do. So you end up being a spectator and not really able to learn what a mortgage broker does. You may end up being an assistant for, I don't know, two to three years. And what you find is that you you don't really learn that much. And this is the same if you work as a mortgage rep with a bank. You'll know the ins and outs and, and build connections, but that's all you'll know. Once you become a broker, your world will open wide and you'll find out that other lenders can do many other different things. And you know what? You'll just end up going through the same learning curve. What I would suggest is be brave, be confident, and go to the deep end and become a full-fledged mortgage broker. But don't do it alone. Partner up with a mentor. Sign up with a brokerage that offers hands-on training. It's challenging, but if you have someone who has done it before guiding you, it's actually not that bad. And the first file, you know, it's going to be very difficult. Second one, it'll be easier. By the fifth one, you should be more comfortable to do the file on your own. So, under what circumstances would I suggest you to work at a bank or be an assistant? It really comes down to your savings. Do you have at least one year's worth of expenses, which would be around, say, thirty to 40000 in your bank account? If you don't, I would suggest working at a bank or be an assistant and save up as much as possible. You really need that safety net and plan in a way where you won't get your first funded mortgage in the first year. Now, I'm not saying this will happen. Now, usually new brokers will fund their first file in the first three months with us. But just in case, worst case scenario, you don't fund a file in the first year. You need to live off your savings. So. That would be the, the um, determining factor, your savings. If you have it, go full-time as a mortgage broker. And if you don't, work at a bank or an assistant 
and save up until you are financially ready to make that transition. At Arise Mortgage, I will be the one training you. I will accept and train only one candidate at any given time. Now, I don't just accept anyone though. The qualified candidate has to be fully committed and trainable. In exchange, I'm going to train you to ensure you will become a successful mortgage broker. The training consists of a 90 days intensive one-to-one -one training. It consists of morning routines, mortgage brokering skills, and how to do a file from beginning to end and sales skills. You're welcome to connect with other brokers on our team to see how they found the training. So if you are interested in joining our team, apply by submitting your resume and let's get connected.